Today, we settle the debate of who is best pony. The super duper party pony, that pony is me. I always knew that was the kind of pony I would be. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 My Little Pony characters. This has got your cloven hoof prints all over it. I'll have you know that I have only one cloven hoof. Since its reboot in 2010, My Little Pony has become one of the hottest programs for both kids and adults. And a lot of it has to do with its charming and relatable characters. For this list, we're paying tribute to the most beloved characters that show us all how friendship truly is magic. We've been BFFs forever and we didn't even know it! Come here, y'all! Oh, <laughs> I love you guys! Number 10, Apple Bloom. All good things come to those who wait. Well, I've waited long enough. You may remember this little filly from our cutest animated TV characters video. But now she's starting off today's list. Apple Bloom is the younger Apple sibling who usually enjoys her independence, especially from her protective big sister, Applejack. Applejack? I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. Originally a blank flank, Apple Bloom was determined to finally achieve her cutie mark, maybe a little too determined. After making friends with fellow blank flank Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo, she banded together with them to form the Cutie Mark Crusaders, a club devoted to finding their cutie marks. Today's the day we are all gonna get our cutie marks in! Fall in! Apple Bloom has the most worries in the group about making her mark, but hey, you know what they say about the journey over the destination. For it is more than just a mark, it's a place for us to start, an adventure that has only just begun. Number 9, Sunset Shimmer. I don't think anyone is supposed to have all the answers, but you can count on your friends to help you find them. Once Princess Celestia's top student, she ran away into the human world and took over Canterlot High School as a bully with an iron fist. You must be new here. I can speak to anyone any way I want. However, when she tries to steal Twilight's crown, said princess and her friend's human counterparts blast her with the magic of friendship. Literally. Since then, she's gone from a manipulative she-demon to a sympathetic heroine trying to make up for her past misdeeds. Must be nice to have everyone always looking to you for answers to their problems, instead of waiting for you to cause a problem. With Princess Twilight back in Equestria, Sunset takes the reins as leader of the human heroes, helping them control any magical mishaps that pop up, and saving others from following the path her old self took. Take my hand, Twilight. Let me show you there's another way just like someone once did for me. She had a rocky past, but she won't let it define her. Then my past does not define me, cause my past is not today. Number eight, Spike the Dragon. I have a simple trick. I count to 10, and by the time I'm done, I've calmed myself enough to get the job done right every time. Easy peasy cider squeezy. Spike is a baby dragon and the primary male character of the main cast. Having been hatched by Twilight when she was a filly, Spike has since become her best friend and number one assistant, aiding her with any task or chore at hand, and keeping her sanity in check. Snap out of it! Huh? Are you okay? However, Spike himself is not perfect. He's shown to make mistakes because he's so young, but he always tries to make amends for his wrongdoings. Being a dragon living in Ponyville, Spike has struggles with his identity, but has learned what other dragons don't even try to learn, how to be a friend. He also has a not-so-subtle crush on a certain Sumpony. I have a crush on Rarity! <gasps> Number 7, Rarity. Whining! I am not whining, I am complaining. Do you want to hear whining? This is whining! This mare knows how to add a little style to everything she does. It's no wonder why Spike loves her. Oh, my little Spikey Blakey! <sighs> the proprietor of Carousel Boutique, with her own fashion franchise expanding across Equestria, Rarity has an eye for detail in her work, making every dress unique. Skills that often help her outside the boutique if needed. Detective Rarity is on the case, and we're going to get to the bottom of this faster than my costume change! Though she likes to act formal and sophisticated, Rarity can act very overdramatic when distressed, or she just loves the attention. Listen to me, I don't even know what I'm supposed to wallow in! Ah. 
I'm so pathetic. Rarity is never afraid to offer her special brand of help to anyone in need or get her freshly cleaned hooves dirty if need be, earning her the element of generosity. Generosity, you are the key. Manhattan, I'm here just for you. Number 6. Applejack This is your sister Applejack, remember? The loyalist of friends and the most dependable of ponies? A farmer at Sweet Apple Acres who is always kept busy bucking apples and keeping the farm in order, Applejack is strong, hardworking, and dependable. But she can also be a little headstrong and stubborn about doing things her way, which usually causes her to quarrel with Rarity. What say we go our separate ways before one of us says something she will regret? I reckon y'all are gonna say something you'll regret first. Though she lives with her big brother, little sister, and granny, Applejack's family is arguably the largest extended family in the series, and she holds all her kinsfolk close to her heart. It's part of the Apple family. Yeah! She's also incapable of lying, unless the situation is desperate, and prefers to live by the gospel truth, earning her the title of the element of honesty. Being honest sure gets hard when it seems like the truth might hurt some pony you care about. But I think believing a lie can end up hurting even more. Number 5. Fluttershy Fluttershy! <laughs> oh, you're just a little old baby kitty, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Be careful of the shy ones. They'll kill you with cuteness. Fluttershy is a timid pegasus who prefers living on the ground than up in the clouds. She lives in a cottage close to the forest where she takes care of all kinds of little animals, including Angel, a devil of a bunny. Okay, Mr. Picky Pants, you win. Carrots, lettuce, and apples, yum, yum, yum. What? As her name implies, Fluttershy is incredibly shy and shows fear in front of crowds and threatening situations, unfortunately making her a bit of a pushover. You've got to stop being such a doormat. A doormat? A pushover, darling. Despite that, she's one of the kindest and most empathetic mares you'll ever meet, yet able to show tough love when needed, making her the bearer of the element of kindness. Just beware, don't get on her bad side. You're going to love me! Number 4. Discord Looks like we might be due for a big old storm of chaos. <laughs> John Delancey is well known for his role as the all-powerful trickster Q from Star Trek. So imagine if Q was a chaotic creature out of Greek mythology. That's Discord in a nutshell, a Draken Equus and the master of chaos and disharmony. Originally an antagonist bent on breaking the main six's friendship, Fluttershy gave him his first real taste of friendship and made him realize how much it really means to him. You think I'm just going to turn all this back because you say so? Because if I don't, I'll lose the one friend I ever had? Huh. While he isn't a villain anymore, he's still a mystical prankster who helps in his own chaotic way. His over-the-top personality makes him feel like the life of the party, but he still has a lot to learn about being a friend. I'm just so new with this whole friendship thing. It's so much more complicated than it looks. Number 3. Twilight Sparkle You are an inspiration to us all, Twilight. What, what do I do now? Is there a book about being a princess I should read? Being the central character of the series, Twilight had to appear somewhere on this list. At the series start, she was just a talented unicorn who would rather keep her muzzle in a book than socialize. However, after her teacher Princess Celestia sends her to live in Ponyville, she befriends five ponies she now can't imagine living without. Oh, thank you, Princess Celestia. I'll study harder than ever before. Though she's the leader and rational one of the group, she's prone to panic attacks when stressed. With the help of her new friends, Twilight ultimately goes from a dorky and antisocial unicorn to a social butterfly alicorn princess, ready to teach and inspire other ponies with what she's learned about the magic of friendship, even if she still has trouble flying. <laughs> Number 2. Rainbow Dash Oh yeah, I did that too! 
This pony makes the series 20% cooler. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Rainbow Dash is a part of Ponyville's Weather Patrol and the newest member of her idol flying team, the Wonderbolts. She's also one of the fastest and most talented flyers in all of Equestria, able to perform the legendary Sonic Rainbow Maneuver. She strives to be the best at what she does, which can make her a little brash and egotistical. There you go. Someday, I want to be just like you. Aim high, kid, but don't aim for the impossible. However, she's always there for her friends when they need her, hence why she's the element of loyalty. She performed her first sonic rain boom as a filly, which helped her and her best friends earn their cutie marks. So in a way, their friendship is all thanks to Rainbow Dash. We all owe our cutie marks to you! Before we unveil our number one character, here are a few honorable mentions. <gasps> Matilda! I feel so bad about the invitations. Is there anything I can do? Flowers! From this day forth, I would like you all to report to me your findings on the magic of friendship. When, and only when, you happen to discover them. Citizens of Ponyville! We, we have, have raced, raced your, your tiny village, village with our, our presence, so that you might behold the real Princess of the Night! Number 1. Pinkie Pie And you have my certified Pinkie Party promise that you will have the best birthday party ever! Okay. Taking the number one spot is the premier party pony of Ponyville. Ever since she got her cutie mark as a filly, Pinkie Pie has been a package of boundless happy energy. Kind of surprising if you've met the rest of her family. We're ever so glad to meet you. We're just gonna have the best time! Her pastimes include baking sweets, throwing massively fun parties, breaking out into song, and occasionally breaking the fourth wall. Come on and smile! However, she isn't without her sensitive side when she doesn't feel wanted. And you don't want to see her scary side. Tell me that my friends are all lying to me and avoiding me because they don't like my parties and they don't want to be my friends anymore! <sighs> Despite all that, all Pinkie Pie really wants is to make ponies laugh and see them smile, making her the perfect bearer for the element of laughter. Also, never break a Pinkie Promise. No pony breaks a Pinkie Promise! Do you agree with our list? Yeah! Did your favorite pony make the final cut? And what of the poor gator? Flank, forever blank. Destined to an existential swim down the river of life to an unknowable destiny. For more equestrian top tens posted every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. There's plenty more where that came from.